My name's Andy Kensington. I was part of the Emirates Team New Zealand design team. Um, my background is in structural engineering, or the composite structures. I'm, I've been with the Oracle team during this last uh, cup. Uh, prior to that, I've worked with Team New Zealand. The class rule was structured such that it was, it was difficult. Yeah, I think the rule designers made it difficult to, to fly a boat fully. That I think they thought that there'd be foil assisting, but not fully flying. Um, and so there's some leeway in the rules, and that's sort of part of what we do as designers is try and look at the class rule and, and work out how we can, can do what we want to do. A lot of the components of all the boats that Oracle made this last time were in fact made here in New Zealand. Many of you would be aware that they have uh, uh, quite a sophisticated boat building uh, facility in Wauku uh, called Core Builders Composites, and um, everything except the hulls, in effect, was made tooled and uh, by guys up in Warkworth. It was a box rule, so there was basic length of 72 feet, uh, a beam of 45 feet, uh, displacement 7,400 7, kilos, and you know, so that compares to 24 tonnes for the, the class of boat that was used in Valencia in, in 07. The Oracle took, um, took it on. They came into the cup with a tremendous legacy, particularly as far as the engineering and um, Aero forces in the wing were concerned, and the, uh, they had developed this massive wing for their trimaran and the deed of gift match against a lingi. The boats were powered by 40 metre high rigid carbon fibre wing masts, um, 11 crew, um, so they were very under crewed. There's very few crew, and the demands on the crew were, were quite intense. The boats were potentially able to do up 30 knots upwind and you know, approaching 50 knots of boat speed downwind. And, you know, no blue-blooded engineer could probably resist the, uh, the opportunity to work in a campaign like this.